actual contract. Al goes in to saying a guy that I don't know never represented me, not uh, affiliated with Team Crawford, have no whatsoever place in Team Crawford's, you know, stable, representing me in a in a contract which I have no no nothing upon that I agreed to. So basically, that was a standpoint of what what the contract would look like. So basically, <clears throat> I'm I'm talking to Al, and I'm like, Al, come on, man, I don't even know this guy. You know, how can you do that? And he's like, well, the guy stated he's a part of your team and whatnot. And what is Crawford talking about here? See, you know, notice the body language. Notice the vague language. We have no idea what Crawford is talking about. And he knows his fans don't know, but they're looking for anything, you know what I'm saying, to cast doubt on the PPC, even though he's being vague here. And then he's trying to cast all kind of doubt that the deal was bad. And he knows he don't have to be specific because there's already a bias against PPC. And he knows his fans, you know what I'm saying, they're going to roll with whatever he's saying. So he's being vague here, you know, on purpose. You know what I'm saying, to give them some hope that the uh, they'll just take it that the PBC is against him. And he knows he's going to have to be specific. Because he can't be, because that would give it away. You know, we going back and back, back and forth, back and forth, you know. I was a good dude, man. I was a, you know, charming guy, you know. He's a he's a cool dude, you know. I, I kind of like talking to him, but at the same time. So with Terrence Crawford talking about, he, he going back and forth with Al Heyman. This whole thing is to give the perception, and this whole thing is to give everybody the idea that he is his own boss. And that's why he keeps with this weird, I'm back and forth with Al Heyman, and he's speaking on his business. But yet, he's not telling you the specifics of what the numbers they were arguing about. That's what we want to know. What happened? Why didn't you sign the contract? But right here, he's just flexing, you know what I'm saying, that he is his own boss, and Earl, he's trying to make it look like Earl Smith Jr. isn't handling his business. And that's what this whole thing is about, just so he can flex that he is in there negotiating. But you are the one who left your promotional company. You can't handle your business because nobody knows what the hell you're talking about and you won't talk about it. What is back and forth over what? Same time, Spence is our guy. I'm not. So, of course, he's going to do what's best for, you know, his fighter, his guy. That's like, you know, any other manager slash advisor would do. He would do the best for his fighter. So, you know, me and Al, we, we talks on the phone, you know. Uh, I get advice from other guys in PBC. They tell me, you know, um, be careful, make sure the deal is right. Uh, they tell me, Make sure you don't get fucked. Uh, you know, just just normal things from guys that's in they stable that I'm friends with. You know, I honestly can say I'm friends with. So, so right here, you know, saying Terrence Crawford is trying to, you know, make it look like that even PBC people inside of PBC don't trust PBC, and they were trying to warn him. So this is a disingenuous attempt. You know what I'm saying? To cover his tracks, you know. This stuff probably never happened. You know what I'm saying? It's just him trying to flex himself and pass himself off like he's a boss. And that's why all the vague language, that's why all the, the uh, back and forth movement, he's trying to, you know, show off. You know what I'm saying? Trying to act like, you know what I'm saying, he is his own man and he's trying to make that evident. That's what this whole press conference is about, is that he is his own boss. And like, who is Terrence Crawford 
like to bring a deal to the PBC. You know what I'm saying? I would I would understand if it was the people he was involved with to bring in to represent the deal, but not him itself. You can see by his unprofessional attitude right here. You know, we going on and on, you know, and of course me and Al, you know, we going back and forth, back and forth about, you know, the numbers. We not going back and forth about anything else. We just going back and forth about the numbers. All in all, I have two companies, you know, that reach out to me that, you know, wanted to give me and Spence $25 million guaranteed. $25 million guaranteed up front. So a real guy like myself, I call Spence. Hey, bro, look, listen, you know what I mean? I got this company that's willing to give us 25 million a piece, guaranteed. What's up, what you gonna do? So basically, Terrence Crawford already, you know what I'm saying, was uh, not feeling it, whatever Al Heyman was talking about, right? Cause he had his own plans of how he wanted to bring in a third party. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't trying to listen to whatever Al Heyman was talking about. Because all of a sudden, he got this shady deal. Now, we know he had some dealings with McKinahan. Who else or somebody who can put up money to get into this fight? Some nameless people. You know what I'm saying? So Al Heyman probably, if it was McKinahan or anybody that's shady, you know what I'm saying? But uh, Al Heyman don't want no third party with a hand in the pot. It just don't make sense. This shows you how dumb this dude is. You know what I'm saying? So he's going to call up Spence. You know what I'm saying? Who don't even uh, don't even know these people? Don't even know what the hell he talking about. They already got a system, bro. You know what I'm saying? Who are you to bring the mafia into this like shit? Twenty five million. What about the back end? I'm like, dude, listen. If they make their money back, then we get eighty twenty. You know what I mean? It's simple math. I said, man, we got people all buying the f buying. I mean, still in the fight. <clears throat> They got the fire sticks. He laughed. He like, man, I got a fire stick too. I'm like, see? I'm like, man, ain't nobody really buying, you know what I mean, papers used no more. I said, man, we get this upfront money and we good. It's a no brainer. You know what I mean? But one thing about me and the, well, the different, I would say the difference between me and the difference between Spence is I'm really my own boss now and he's not. No, the difference is not that uh, you a boss and Spence is not. No, the difference is you trying to run a con game on the PBC and bring in a third party to get in on this money. See what I'm saying? So you can come out on top, but what, what does that leave Errol Spence Jr. and the PBC? Okay, so if this other, you know saying, entity that's trying to get in on this fight is McKinahan, then you can see where this thing can go south. So, you know... Terrence Crawford, you know, he's a bitch, bro. He's just a disingenuous, lying-ass dude, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want to deal with this guy, man. Fuck this dude, bro.